I met a girl, met a girl with a bunch of banana. Who buy, who buy? No, come on, I didn't want to. You're recording? Mm -hmm. Say something. <laughs> Say, what? okay. I'd like to catch you singing on camera. <clears throat> All right, so I know you're wondering what is she up to now? What is Stella's zone up to? What is she cooking? What is all this ingredient? What is up her sleeve? And you know me, I And if you're Stella zone, no, my son, baby, my son, baby, my mukasi, where you're me, mukasi, right? All right, so this is so I'm speaking a little bit of chi in there, so because people think I don't speak chi, and I speak chi. So today, um, my recipe is very simple. It's not time consuming. Um, so yeah, you can make this recipe for your family. What like are we I making? Said. What is the recipe? <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying <clears throat> it's not time consuming. So today I have had a request of this video, so I'm making it. I'm making um fancy fancy. I put it up the video. <laughs> Make the fancy fancy. Yes. So I'm making fancy fancy. Okay. So what is fancy fancy? Fancy fancy is basically like a fish sauce that originated from Steve. Steve is like. The, he has the camera in one hand and then he's trying to feel my hair. I'm telling you, you can't, you can't run your fingers through my hair. I could try. No, you can't. You need GPS. <laughs> so, so Fante Fante originates from the central region. It's called Fante Fante for a reason. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the Fante dialect. Okay. So if you are um, from the, if you are from Cape Coast, you know, Cape Coast. Uh, my people out there, shout out to you. Today I'm making a recipe that originated from the central region. So yeah, kudos to you guys. I respect you guys. Yeah, so I'm making fancy fancy. And let me just walk you through the basic ingredients. I have um, onions. I love onions, so I'm using a lot, lot, a lot of onion. You don't have to use this much onions, okay? Just, um, you can use whichever amount um, to your preference, okay? And of course, the main ingredient, fish. Now, you can also use any kind of fish, any type of fish, okay? But I just love the taste of red snapper, okay? It's like the luxury of fish. <laughs> <laughs> if it can, I know it can be pretty expensive, but I'm not where I get mine from. So it's wild caught. Like I tell you, if you buy a fish, make sure, I don't know, but I don't buy farm raised fish. It has to be locally wild caught fish so i'm using red snapper i'm only using two whole red snapper and then clean and it actually came clean so i just cut it in i think three or four pieces each all right so that's it and if you're wondering the seasoning on there since i'm going to be making this with stew you don't need that much what i did was i soaked this in like um lemon water lemon lime water for a few minutes rinsed it off and then what i have on here is a little bit of salt and a little bit of lemon salt oh no lemon pepper lemon pepper as well you have this is a sauce base um stew so you're going to need tomatoes you can use canned tomato sauce canned tomato paste but i just like to do my things local you know because i'm a local girl from ghana Kofuria, to be precise <laughs> so i just like to cook from scratch that's me not all my spices are from scratch though and what I have here, I'm not going to use the whole container because I think if I use all this, Stephen is going to give me a divorce paper today. <laughs> this is spicy. This is green habanero chili pepper. And I'm using it because it has, it gives you the smell of pakoshito. You know, you know pakoshito in Ghana. Um, I can't really find pakoshito here. And even these days, I don't know, you can't really get pakoshito to smell the way you used to smell, you know, when we're growing up. So... Because of all these things, they, they're using green the pepper. So this green habanero pepper gives you the same. It's hot, but it gives you that same aroma that Pakoshito gives you. So I have a bunch. I have these that I made today. What I have in here is a green habanero pepper, ginger, and garlic. I blended this up. So anytime I mix sauce or soup, and I need to enhance the flavor, um, spice wise and aroma wise, I'll just add a little bit. To my soup or sauce okay and what else is gonna go in here I have onions I have peppers I have a little bit of rosemary here and since this is fish 
Yes, it is fish, but you don't want to smell like fish after eating you, after enjoying your dish. So I have huintia and pepper and a surisa, which is saline pepper and I believe alligator pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cloves, yeah, cloves, saline and alligator pepper, I believe that's what it is, yeah. Esruisa FM is with uh, no Esruisa Wintia and Pepper is what I have. I know Pepper is close, okay. And then Wintia, I believe, is either slim or alligator pepper. And I have chili pepper in here, so in a little bit, a dash of rosemary, okay, to enhance the aroma. You know what I mean? So, yes, now the onion is cooking nicely. How well you got in there? Oh, I got, I'm using palm oil, yes. One thing about Fante Fante is. Mostly the sauce is prepared, or, yeah, the sauce is prepared or the stew is prepared with palm oil, okay? And the one, the other difference is that the meat is, the fish is not pre-cooked. It's not fried before or cooked before. You cook the fish in the stew. So that is why it is very important to take care of the fish and not get like a fishy smell stew. And then after you eat, you go and breathe on your husband and he will like, so you don't want that, so mm -hmm. yeah. So make sure you clean it really well. Like I said, I use lemon lime juice. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of my green chili paste for flavor flay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. <laughs> and I'm using my skillet, as you guys can see. It's not only good for deep frying, you can also use it in Cooking. In cooking as well, soup, stew, I'm using a lot of tomatoes because this is going to be one spicy sauce and I want us to enjoy this more than once so um, maybe we can have this two times before I mean we finish it off because I don't want to cook tomorrow <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and blend these so this is my tomatoes, this is my tomatoes um, I could have cooked the tomatoes uh, beforehand, but hmm, I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to cook this in here and then finish it off. So what I have in here, now everything, the tomatoes, the peppers, and the onions is blended, and I added it to the onion that I was cooking. So now I'm going, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so now, yes, I blended everything and then returned it to my oil skillet. and onion or to my skillet mm -hmm. thank you assistant chef so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cook this okay basically bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and it cooks and simmer nicely before we add our fish so i'm just gonna sit this the fish in the fridge okay while this is cooking the fish doesn't need to sit on the counter so okay. the sauce has been cooking for about 20 21 minutes okay and it is coming together as you guys can see it is like thickening up all right <clears throat> so what i'm doing now is i'm just going to add the fish okay what i'm going to do is this is some spice this is regular spice, it's nothing special. It's not like it's the... Stella's own spice <laughs> because it's on Stella's own. No, it's like I just take what I have, I just work with what I have, and then I put it together. So it's not, it's pretty simple. So I'm just what's in there? It's just, um, I believe, a little bit, just a little bit like a dash of cumin, a dash of oregano powder, both powder. Um, my bidia, badaya bidia, oringa. Okay, so I'm just adding. Moringa. I have paprika, smoked paprika, and um, that's it. And I had a little bit of um, shrimp bouillon, just a little bit. Oh, and I had I have veggie base. I use this. I don't mind what I, I don't care what I'm cooking. Um, soup, stew, whatever I'm cooking. Veggie base, okay. So I use that as well um, in there. And then now I added the, just a little bit of moringa in here. I'm just going to let this cook. Flavor and nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to let this cook for another. I want the fish. We have it on here. I'm going to I'm going to turn the heat up because oh, okay. I don't want it to, to like splattering everywhere. 
I would say about maybe 375, 400. Yeah, that's fine. Just work with the heat because now we are going to cook the fish. So about 15 to 20 more minutes because I want the fish to be really done. So um, yeah, I'm covering it because you know it's like splattering everywhere. You don't want to cover this, then it can retain the heat and liquid. Okay. So yeah. what you want to do is just like angle, angle the cover on top so the heat is still coming out. This is what my fante fante looks like. Okay, it's done. Fish is cooked thoroughly. It's very tasty. I want to also know how you make your fante fante. So if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have any requests for me to make, leave them in the comment section. Also follow us on Instagram. We are now on Instagram. Everybody has been saying, Stella, you need to get back on Instagram. So we're on Instagram. You can find that at Stella Zone TV or I believe Stella Zone or no, yeah, the Stella Zone or Stella Zone TV. You can find us on um, Instagram, Facebook. You can find us on Stella Zone. All right. And if you have any questions, email us at stellazontv at gmail.com. And now I am going to enjoy this deliciousness, not the whole thing. I won't be selfish. I will share. What am I having this with? Some kenke. This kenke is nice and firm. So, phew. I like the head. So that's what I'm going for. Fish head. This is my fancy fancy. Um, sipped with kenke. You can have this with banku kenke, rice, boiled yam, but I'm telling you, it's, I don't know, it's best if you have it with kenke, kenke. or banku. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to enjoy this plate of deliciousness. Ooh, bon appetit to me. Okay, from my kitchen to yours until we meet right here again on Stolosom. Remaining God, try this recipe. Like, subscribe, sub subscribe. subscribe. Thank you.